Hello my friends and welcome to a new video for Infinity Kingdom. This is Biak here from 049 and I'm going to talk about uh, an important update since we got gnomes level 55 and the highest gnome we had was level 50 and my technique for farming gnomes level 55 is making an earth marsh because uh, my earth dragon is the highest dragon over all of my other dragons. I have here a baby wine dragon and a crocodile uh, lightning dragon and I have here a kinda okay fire dragon and I have a decent earth dragon and for this the power spike for this formation is using my earth dragon because it's the strongest dragon and the dragon itself will provide for me physical attack bonus and magical attack bonus physical defense uh, etc all of these attributes I gained from uh, leveling up the talents uh, and also charles charles is the key word and uh, like the key to open or to win any gnome uh, fight and for a uh, charles you have to use adrenaline rush it is a must and if you have wine rage it could it, it would be amazing having wine rage and if you don't use uh, or have wine rage it will make some losses uh, like extra losses but if you are using Windridge, it would be better. So my key here is using Charles and use any other immortal uh, to level up. For example, I'm here, I'm using Elizabeth. And as you see, I don't have any equipments for her. And even Elizabeth is uh, boost 9. And also King Arthur is boost 15. And his equipment doesn't have any uh, plus like Elizabeth. And also we have here Cleopatra. And for Cleopatra, it's boost 15 with no equipment. I just boost them to increase the uh, uh, number of groups. But for Charles, it has to be at least boost 24. At least. If, if you can raise Charles to a higher boost, it would be better uh, to hunt any boost for the energy region attribute and uh, the initial energy attribute because having an initial energy attribute higher and uh, energy region higher would be uh, perfect because Charles has a base of 74.9 in the region compared to other immortals uh, like a King Arthur here have a higher energy region but we have Adrian Rush and we have a uh, wine rage just to uh, make his skill uh, work faster and I'm going to show you the skills uh, for all I'm using all the blessings for example I'm using rage blessing and speed blessing just to make uh, Charles uh, make an auto attacks like normal attacks and normal attacks will benefit him from uh, casting his ultimate more faster and also for the auras I'm using berserk I'm using weakness or super berserk to provide healing and provide attack speed uh, and for weakness here just to make critical damage and make the fight finish faster and I'm using misleading to make the gnomes miss uh, or dodge skills sorry uh, dodge normal attacks and for shelter it will provide healing the recovery rate will be 40 percent upon uh, having a uh, damage and uh, some uh, or one of damage skill spells later on uh you can also use death breath if you have uh, death breath and doesn't have spells integrator if you have the spell it's fine you can use spells integrator and uh, oaken guard just uh, reduce a uh, physical damage from the gnomes normal attack in the early match so the keyword here is uh charles as i told you so let's pick any gnomes level 55 and this is the highest gnome right now and also with the highest losses if you didn't use the right marsh or the right skills to hunt them for me i, I have like the death rate uh, starting from 50 to maximum 400 or 450 sometimes it spikes and sometimes it'd be uh, the lowest as possible i'm going to show you the previous re uh, reports but i'm going to show you also live attacks just to make sure you are seeing uh, the reports in action as you see here 366 losses and also some 500 losses 400 losses and sometimes it spikes because sometimes charles uh, couldn't make it to use his uh, skill uh, 
uh, right and I see here some of the low losses and some of the high 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 losses I bookmarked uh, some of the lowest lowest losses at all uh, it went here 86 and 87 I'm going to show you all of these uh, reports so the case stone here is using the replay just to show you uh, that sometimes adrenaline rush works and sometimes it doesn't also here I was using uh, Hallard instead of uh, King Arthur and this makes the fight finish more faster because uh, King Arthur is a defensive immortal that doesn't deal damage so we can also swipe King Arthur with Hallard because I was just leveling up immortals and I ignored the death rate so I was just showing you here that the reward could be uh, better with uh, some other immortals like we are using the lane rush and wind rage on charles charles with the same skills would be uh, perfect and as you see here let's use all the auras and let's change uh, king arthur with color i just didn't have much uh shieldman because i suffered from uh, shieldman losses and yeah i don't have enough children to fight more but i'm going to use the same build just to show you here let's drop this and let's use a uh, rage blessing and let's use also here cleave and heavenly thunder we could use misleading and cleave would be perfect where is cleave i think cleave is yep uh, do I miss anything else? I don't think so. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm, I don't think I'm missing anything. Let's hear fight again. And let's discover what the losses would be uh, from fighting with uh, Hallard instead of... Let's uh, remove all of this. 12 hours, okay. I don't need like 16 hours. Okay. Be, perfect. Be, be perfect time for me to wake up uh, in such an early uh, hour and for this let's see the stats where did they get damage the airship damage 1 million so uh, charles didn't make it to use his ultimate skill before the airship damage so let's check here the charles ultimate skill he was going to use it and he had the full energy bar but the animation couldn't make it before the airship so we took lots of airship damage we need to uh, make his energy region uh, faster or have like initial energy more 10 points than the one he have here that's why we need to make another attack sometimes adrenaline rush works and sometimes it doesn't so it is a must and let me check here if uh, charles makes like critical damage with his normal attack we can use energy burst on him since energy burst will be granted to give you some energy a bone critical uh, it landed on 500 death also even though 500 death is decent against gnomes level 55 but we need to make these losses uh, way more or less uh, than this so if we have anything to push our energy region in the early match would be better uh, I don't think we have here it's just attack, damage received, crit rate and dodge rate if we used uh, these items, okay, some of low loses here. So he tanked uh, all the airship damage. I see here most of my immortals from the damage taken didn't take any damage from the gnomes hunt. Uh, sorry, from the airship. So we can use some of the enhanced attacks. And we enhanced everything. Let's now try. Commander Bushu, this attack here will be having uh, low losses. So, come on, move faster. Okay, it was the highest with boosts. <laughs> the highest since we started to record this video. But why it is uh, like high losses, even though. The uh, losses here are, aren't that high because the matchup went to uh, 44 seconds and the 
took lots of damage and they received lots of heal and we're going to talk about this in uh, another video dealing damage and healing will benefit you from suffering to have uh, much losses can we make like gnomes key percentage okay with boosts i'm gaining like lots of losses this is not acceptable for me let's change to rock you instead of uh, tyrant come on let's let's fast forward my attacks because i don't want to uh, waste much time in making this video i'm just showing you how are the perfect techniques even though i was uh okay now we gained uh low losses and the lowest was uh 100 and this is won't be the low uh the lowest why because i'm standing in the forbidden zone as you know forbidden zone is a natural uh or natural uh zone you have to hunt gnomes on your area i'm just showing you the technique and i am here on a purpose because i'm on forbidden zone to show you the real death and uh seriously wounded and this would be perfect on your uh zone uh, check on the map alliance territory and fight on your alliance territory avoid enemy territory or other alliances territory or the forbidden zone do it on your territory and do it with the same build i did in the video and show me your losses in your way uh, as i showed you i had i had some uh, high losses and i had some low losses even though i'm i didn't use boosts here and i was on the forbidden zone thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed with me uh, this uh, build and see you soon